Hi all, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another crafting tutorial and in this one today we are continuing our Kill Team Cormorah board with these walkways and, and as you can see this is coming along quite nicely so yeah walkways today and if you haven't checked out these houses or this webway or even the board links will be in the description and you can see the other videos but without further ado follow me to the crafting table and let's do this come on okay friends let's begin by making the template for the walkways now i'm going to use this chipboard but cardboard or cardstock will do now i'm going to begin by making a rectangle that is seven centimeters long by six centimeters high just make sure that you mark out correctly draw the lines there we go now we're going to mark on each corner two centimeters from the side as you can see me do here and then we're going to connect the top and the bottom with a line creating a smaller rectangle now in this small rectangle we're going to draw an x from corner to corner and we're going to do that on both sides of course now from the center of the x we're going to mark out half a centimeter on the outside and then we're going to draw a small line like this and do the same on the other side as well of course mark out half a centimeter draw a small line now we're going to connect the two far outer corners from top to bottom creating a large x all across the walkway or across the rectangle <laughs> from corner to corner like so and that also gives us the center part and from the center part we're going to draw a straight line up and down And on that top and bottom, we're going to mark out half a centimeter as well. And we're going to draw a line that connects the two smaller rectangles we previously made. <coughs> like so, excuse me, half a centimeter. And on those uh, center line, we're going to mark out half a centimeter, both left and right. And this is just to create a little extra detail, a triangle or a sharp edge that we're going to create here don't have to do it but it adds a little to the walkway and this is the walkway template so let's cut it out gently but use a sharp knife knife when doing this now pay close attention how I cut this out because and uh, yeah it could be a little tricky so watch carefully because there are a lot of lines here so it could be a little confusing I know I had it uh, <laughs> the first time I made it <laughs> Cut out the triangles, there we go. Now this is what you should be left with, so looks cool and matches the Drukari in my opinion. Their aesthetic, those sharp edges. And this is our template. Now we're gonna trace this template three times or depending on how many walkways you want on a piece of five millimeter thick foam board. And I'm gonna extend one and then a double extension on another. So we're gonna create uh, three smaller walkways, one very large walkway and one medium one. And then it's simply a process of uh, starting to carefully cut these out. Go slow and make sure your knife is sharp. And now I am going to trace all of these again on some serial cardstock. Now this is an optional pro tip guys, so you can now soak the foam board walkways in hot water and peel off the paper um, like you've seen me do in the previous entries in this series and then draw the details in instead of tracing them on this cardstock and cutting out the details on the cardstock because that is a lot more work. Now I prefer the cardstock method for this but drawing in the foam board really really goes a lot quicker than the way that I'm doing it here. So yeah, up to you. But I'm going to trace them on the cardstock, marking them also 1 to 5 for both the walkways and the cardstock. Just so that I know which one matches with which walkway, if you know what I mean. So 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. <laughs> and then again, start by cutting out these uh, cardstock walkways. 
it can be a little tedious so i always have the tv on in the back watching some true crime or sometimes i have youtube on or music whatever you feel all right there we go cool matches nicely and now i'm gonna mark out half a centimeter on each edge of the cardstock and i'm gonna draw an inner rectangle Also at the top, marking half a centimeter. And as I said, I'm gonna draw an inner rectangle. And in that rectangle, I'm going to start by drawing in uh, some, yeah, as you've seen me do in the previous videos, some Drukhari symbols, well, not symbols, but uh, architecture with those hooks and tribal-like uh, designs sharp edges you know the works <laughs> just go nuts with this they don't have to align or match up either just be creative and switch things around and then also when you've done that slowly cut them out mix and match but always make sure that your knife is sharp and yeah, always be careful not to cut yourself. There we go. I like this detail. So if you put it on top of the walkway, you get something nice. Cool. But as I said, you can easily carve that in in the foam as well. But I like this. Now I'm gonna cross hatch some floor designs like I did in the previous build and I'm gonna score the lines like so. And go over it with a ballpoint pen as well to increase the depth of the details and then simply using some white glue to glue on uh, the cardstock design flip that upside down and make sure to let that fully cure and dry and do all the other ones now i like how these walkways turned out so pretty happy with this very cool it would look nice on my design now we're gonna i'm gonna spray them with uh with a black primer and like comment share and subscribe everybody <laughs> now let's build a platform for this thing now i'm gonna cut a eight by eight centimeter square and i'm gonna do exactly the same as i did with the walkways for on the top as you see here so no much explanation needed here cut an eight by say eight by eight centimeter square and yeah cardstock details glue it on now for the, the pillars, I'm simply going to use a paper towel roll or a toilet roll or both. <laughs> and I'm going to mark out the center very slowly. And I'm going to simply snip this in half. Make sure that they are the same size. And if they are not then trim them to size. Now cut yourself some bladed details from a foam board and hot glue these on. Now I have these uh, five centimeter squares which I'm gonna glue top and bottom to create my pillars and I'm gonna glue on these bladed foam board extensions. You don't have to do this but I quickly cut them. I'm not, didn't film that but yeah not much uh, difficulty to create them and voila prime these pieces black but use a foam safe spray and then start by painting them now for the stairs cut a rectangle that is five centimeters by two and a half centimeters and i'm going to use this to draw a curved step with a lip in the back almost resembles the batman symbol <laughs> like so and the curve in the back Trace these steps on cardboard or cardstock, but better cardboard. And uh, yeah, now I make a tilted beam that matches my pillar. Mark that out and cut them out like so. Now I'm going to simply cut out the back of these steps and I'm going to hot glue these on the beam that I just made. And then it fits nicely into the pillar. Very cool. Look at this. Drukari walkways. 
Nice. And I'm keeping this modular, of course. You can make as many as you want. And for, well, painting, I'm simply going to do as I did with the rest of my Komora floorboard and uh, everything. So prime it black, stipple it with silver paint all over, then gray for the concrete floor. And then I simply gave the metallic uh, a purple glaze or a purple paint, whatever you want. But make sure that you paint them however you desire it to be. As you can see, I'm stippling on some watered down purple. Now let's place this on the board and let's have a look at the finished piece. And here we go, Komora. The miniatures on it matches nicely with my board. The houses. I'm really happy how this turned out. The webway. So far, we've created a cool uh, Kill Team starter set, in my opinion. So, just let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this. It was all of these were very easy builds. They're all on my channel if you haven't seen the other ones. So check it out. Very cool. I'm really happy how this all turned out and I really like how it looks with the models on top of the board so definitely gonna have a lot of fun games playing on this so thank you all for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed this video um, a lot more to come I'm also working on some other projects too and uh, I really appreciate all your support keep on doing what you guys do hit the like share comment subscribe button I really appreciate that and uh, yeah, I will see you on the next video, okay guys? Bye for now.